I was trying to play the game of Silicon Valley and capitalism, the shortcomings of those motivations become clear. I was miserable. And there's a period you enter where you're in the void. Well, if I'm not that thing, if I'm not that CEO, dad, husband, hero that I thought I was, what am I? Like all children, I had my own version of trauma that came at an early age. I was in the soft confines of an intellectual home with a college professor dad and a teacher mom. And then at five years old, they got divorced. I was never allowed, really, to express fear or sadness. And early on learned that I had to become my own father, which was trying to live up to certain male archetypes I'll be back. that I thought were representative of the way I was supposed to show up in the world. And it set the tone and direction of where I went. In my 40s, I had created a company that was on the path to go public. I was trying to play the game of Silicon Valley and capitalism because I thought that was what would give me recognizable identity in the world and make me loved. And I had a personal crisis at the time. I had never saw my family and I was on the, the verge of divorce. I was miserable. I didn't feel happy. I felt trapped. That to me was the first signpost. Maybe there is something going on under the surface. Maybe I've been programmed to get my happiness in ways that are not serving my long-term joy. So I stepped away from the CEO job to be a better dad and husband. I was trying to rest free of this egoic baggage, but with no tool set whatsoever in how to do that. When I started doing the work with AOA, when I showed up, you know, naked and exposed and vulnerable and going through a divorce and saying, this is the real me, the tribe showed up. They were there. They were there all along, but I was trying to earn their love before. I was trying to impress my way to get to feel a sense of connection. I think things like Masterclass have been deftfully created in such a way where you can have mini breakthroughs and chisel into the deeper sense of being and in your intuitive place more easily and more consistently. Really being able to channel and connect with your emotional state is like opening the gates to Fort Knox. All the little security doors and everything else are starting to come down. It's really scary and it's really powerful. And being able to stay in contact with those emotions and move them through when they need to be moved through and to understand what they are telling you changed my entire way of being in the world. Being able to stay in contact with my soul, that essential me, that part of me that has always been there. It was there when I was five years old, it's there now. And to me, that was always it. That was the measure of, is it working? Do I feel closer to my soul as a result of doing this work? Since doing AOA, I have moved from being a CEO who was playing out a hero complex and trying to rescue companies. Now it is, how do I bring a lot of the ideas of inner work into the capitalist infrastructure that I play in. To me, AOA kicked off that huge career transition for me, which I don't know where it all goes at this point, but I love doing it.